Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a branching Google Form or a Google Form you could use as a review or one you could use um, for differentiation. I've also call, heard this process called the quiz you can't fail. So uh, what the process will be is that you have to answer a question right to be able to go to the next question. So we do this by utilizing sections. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, I'm going to add a couple of sections in here. So sections are this icon uh, down here on your bar. So you can just continue to add a few sections. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add um, maybe eight sections just to begin with. If I need more, I can add them. Or if I don't need some, I can delete them. So with my first question, and so um, I'm going to go ahead and actually label the question. So my first question is just on the page that says branching Google form, which is the title of my form. You can name your title whatever you want to. So my first question is going to go here. My second question is going to be if they get it wrong, they're going to go to this page. So this is going to be, I'm going to call this question one review. My next page is going to be question two. Then my next one can be question to review, R-E-V-I-E-W. Okay, I'm actually going to call it review A because I'm going to have two possible wrong answers. So question to review B. And then I'll have question three. And then my next section is going to be question three review. And then I'm going to do question four, and that one's going to be data validation, so I don't need to have a review, so I'm going to add one more section. So then we'll have question five, and we'll submit it question five. Okay, so in all, we added nine, I added nine sections to do with this, this particular method. So now I'm going to actually go through and add my questions in. So for the first question, I'm going to type it in, put in my question, what does the BNBLT sandwich stand for? And here are my options. So my options are burger, bacon, burnt, and broccoli. So in, I want, if they get the answer wrong, they're going to go to the section two, which is question one review. So to set this up, I'm going to click on the three dots right here, and it says go to section based on answer. So we're going to go to section based on answer. Then I need to change in here where they go. So. Um, so burger is obviously wrong so we're going to click on and it's going to go to the section two which is the review bacon is the right answer so I want it to go to question two and then burnt is wrong so I'm going to have it go to the review page and I'm going to have the next one go to the review page now I also want to set my question as being required in fact every one of my questions I want to be required so I just click right here it turns it in my case it's turning it purple and so it is required now I'm going to leave the rest of it alone, and then I'm going to go into the section two. Now on this one, I'm going to add a picture of a BLT sandwich. So I'm going to click over here where it says add image, and I'm going to go to search, and I'm just going to type in BLT, and I will find a picture of a BLT sandwich, and there I'm going to add it in. Now I'm all, I don't have to do anything else. The other thing I have to do this page, I'm not going to add anything. I could add words or, or something else if I wanted to. But right here it says after section two. So when somebody comes to this particular page, I want them to then go back to question one. I don't want them to proceed to question two. So I'm going to change this and tell it to go back to the section one, the first section. Okay, so let's test it and see what it looks like. So when they look at it now and they choose burger and they choose next, it goes to the question. If you choose next again, it goes back here. If we get it right, with bacon, it should go to question two, and it does. So we haven't done more than that right now, So, but let's come back over here and continue to work with our, um, with our form. So uh, let's go on and add question two. So for my question two, I have this question. Um, I need to first, on my question two page, I need to add a question in here. So here's my question, and I'm gonna go ahead and add my answers in here. And for my answers, I want to make sure I make it required for sure. Then I'm going to click on the three dots. And again, I want to go to the section based on answer. So if they choose triangle, it's a different answer wrong. And then if they choose rhombus or rectangle for this particular question. So if they choose triangle, which is a wrong answer, I'm going to have them go to review A. 
if they choose rhombus or rectangle, I'm going to have them to go to review B. Now, so this is just an option. You don't have to have two reviews um, pages, but I'm just showing if you wanted to. And square is the right answer, so I'm going to have that one go to question three. So on question 2A, I'm going to insert a video. So we had the icon for image. Now I'm going to have the guide card for video. So I'm going to go and add a video um, in here. So let me go find um, a video. I'm going to view a video on polygons. Let's see if I can find one. Uh, so I will use, I'm going to use this particular one. I can preview it if I wanted to. And then for the section 2, review oops I put that in the wrong spot so let me change that over I want to make sure that's in my review section so let's add that video we'll use that same video there all right now I want to set this page up I don't want it to go to the next section I want when they get here them to go back to question two so I have to choose that this was the review it's got to go back to question two now I'm going to do the same thing on um, not a picture I want another video uh, in section 2 review B. So let me add a video here and in this one I'm going to do quad quadrilaterals and so here is one on quadrilaterals that will have the properties um, so it would help them with that particular answer and again on this one I want not to continue to the next section I want them to go back to question 2 to solve it. Okay, so on to question three. So on question three, I'm going to add another multiple choice question. And so this particular one, um, students will either know the answer or they won't know the answer. And I want to require this question. So I have to choose, make sure I hit require. And so the question is in there. Again, we want to do go to section based on answer. And so the question, um, if they get this, the correct answer, of course, is Charlotte. So that one, I want to go to question four if they get it right. If they get it wrong, I want it to go to the question three review. So I'm going to set all the other choices to question three review. So it's very similar what we've been doing, um, doing with the other questions. So then on the question three review, this time I'm just going to add some text that says try again. So you could add the text which was over on the, the right side or uh, by the T or you could even just type it in the description, um, description option. But this time I'm going to have text. Uh, so we have, uh, so the, again, this section instead of after section six, continue into the next section, we want this to go back to question three because they need to get it right before they go forward. All right, on to question four. So I'm going to add another question by clicking on the plus sign. This time it's going to be a short answer question. So this particular one is how many branches are in the government. Now this one I'm going, so I'm going to require it, but I want to click on the three dots and I'm going to use data validation. So this is a number, and I'm going to change this, that is exact, equal to the number three because that's the answer there. So they have to choose three to move on to the next question. So the custom text that goes here is um, I want them to go visit a uh, uh, there. I want them to go um, copy and paste this information and go to a website. You could give words here, whatever you want um, to do, uh, but to put in that um, put the information in in there. So um, I'm going to put put that in. And the last question is actually another data validation. So let me add that particular one in. And um, so this is going to be another short answer question. We're going to make sure we require it. So um, this question is, let me get that in here. Um, what is the largest ocean on Earth? And we want to use that validation, data validation. So here's the three dots. And we'll add the data validation in. And this time it's going to be text and I'm going to have it contain the correct answer is Pacific and I'm going to have it contain the, the last part of Pacific that way it has to just contain that if they have a capital um, if they use a capital P or a lowercase p it doesn't matter as long as it has those part of the words in there and then here is my custom um, error message that I'm just going to type in which is 
copy and paste this to into the oceans. So once you've gone through all of this, you can preview your form and hopefully if you choose an answer wrong, it's going to, not hopefully, it should, it will take you to your review page. If you choose the correct answer, it should go into, um, it should go to the next question. So I've got a wrong answer here. Take me back. Let's see. I'm going to get another wrong answer. Got a different video. If I do the right answer, I go to question three. Wrong answer should take me to the try again slide. Right answer should take me to the next question. Wrong answer should give something that pops up here. Um, the right answer should take me to the next question. Again, the wrong answer should give me something here. The right answer should let me um, should let me submit the form. So uh, that is uh, that is the way that it looks like I did that to um, a. like I had a typo there. Let me try that one more time. Um, but um, I'm not going to go through the whole thing with you, but that will do it so I should be able to submit the form at the very end. If you have any questions, please let me know.